Many people put off a lot of things because life happens. So we think of retirement planning that a lot of people just delay in doing. And as a result, when they get to retirement age, their their retirement funds are not what they could have been because they delayed. Or we might have waited to take the perfect trip or tick things off on the bucket list because we had kids or funds were short or whatever reasons we came up with why we couldn't do these things at this time. And the problem is sometimes we run out of time. Sometimes life happens, things we don't have control of as humans. We might have some knowledge, but we don't have knowledge of things to come. We don't know when our days will end, and we don't know how long we will live. So with that in mind, the author of Ecclesiastes starts chapter 12 with this way. Remember your creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years draw near, when you will say, I have no pleasure in them. First of all, to remember the creator is not just an act of the mind, not just a memory thing. It is an act of in itself, something you do, you remember by serving the Lord, by being in right relationship with him. And the author is saying, don't put this off. You never know when your time is going to be cut short. Do this now. Focus on lifelong relationship with God. And as we look at the whole of Ecclesiastes, this focus on enjoying life, enjoying the lot that God has given us, this is done in conjunction with God in relationship, honoring him and serving him throughout our days. This is really, really important to remember because we get to the chapter, chapter 12, verse 19, and it says, the end of the matter, all has been heard. Remember, this is a wise man telling us this. Fear God and keep his commandments, for that is the whole duty of everyone. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. So as we sum up this little study in in Ecclesiastes, I encourage you to think about where you are in life. Where have you waited to make some certain decisions? Where have you delayed in serving God where you really should be doing better? These are things you need to contemplate and not just think about, but actually take action to deal with. God wants you to have a beautiful, blessed life, but this does include very much having him in the picture. Something to think about today. Blessings on you.